is the Conservative MP for Mid-Norfolk, George Freeman, a supporter of Penny Morden. So, George, is it now going to be PM for PM, as her slogan has it? Well, it's been a very, very good day. Um, we're certainly well on the way. Uh, no chickens being counted yet. This is only the beginning of this race, but Penny today has very much broken through. Uh, she's been quite enigmatic for many people. Today they saw the passion, the conviction of her conservatism and why she's so passionate about responsibility, about enterprise, about defence and security. It's because it's been her life. Uh, so I think she's burst through in that sense. People know and can see the person. But I think also she's burst through in terms of the polls. We're now riding very strong just behind Rishi Sunak, two clear leaders. This trust today, interestingly low, low vote. Um, of course, the dark arts have yet to begin, and I hope that there's no spoiler tactics to try and pull down a strong candidate. The country need to see Penny Mordens out around the country uh, as one of the last two, and I think if we can do that, we'll have a very strong contest, and conservatism will be the winner, and unity and uh, enterprise and security will be the winners. What about this flip-flop on trans issues? She used to say trans women are women. Uh, now she doesn't seem to believe that anymore. Is that right? Well, look, she's been very clear that um, well, she has for her, I mean, that's the point. Conservat conservatism should be generous enough, compassionate enough to, yes, always defend norms, mainstream norms of behaviour, uh, but also to be generous to those who are struggling, to minorities of whatever sort, people who don't conform to the norm. And she couldn't have been clearer today. She defends that position. We should be generous and compassionate to those who are struggling in, in whichever sense in life. But a woman is a woman, a man is a man, and as she said today very clearly, she's a woman, she knows what women are and why they need defending. So and where, where, where yes, does she stand on open, those who are struggling. open bathrooms or bathrooms for all? Uh, that question wasn't actually asked, but I think it's very clear that she, um, she defends women's security, and that means we can't have men dressed up as women in women's changing rooms and it's, it, she couldn't have been clearer today she she's determined to be compassionate and to signal that we are not going to indulge in some horrific sort of culture war of dog whistle uh, anti-wokery that that damages the life chances the lived experience of people in our country fellow citizens who are really struggling we need to be generous to them but we also need to be absolutely clear that in that generosity, we are not going to undermine the norms that the vast majority of people in this country want us to defend. We are the Conservative Party. Men want to know that they can be men, women that they're women, but it is possible then to be generous to those who are struggling. It's a very small number of people. And just finally, what's she got that Liz Truss hasn't got? I think three things. Um, firstly, huge uh, popular appeal around the country, both in the Conservative Party, she's leading in the Conservative home poll, she's leading in the Telegraph, leading in the Mail, the next phase of this election. But much more importantly, colleagues in marginal seats are saying, Penny Morden's as Prime Minister, I would love to campaign with. She's the one that Labour most fear. So I think, firstly, she's highly electable. Secondly, she was an authentic, original Brexiteer. And that, for many people in this party, really matters. And thirdly, I think she is... Um, what I think most people in the party want to see, a proper Conservative, an economic Conservative. She's very sound on public finances. She hasn't indulged in big, unrealistic giveaway tax cuts, okay. which I was quite surprised to see Liz Truss do. But she does believe in enterprise innovation and she's run a small business. I think that's pretty compelling. George Freeman, thank you very much indeed.